disgusting. I literally look disgusting. You just need to catch a dick and forget about your troubles. Girl, you just need to catch a dick. Honestly, I bet it's brain damage. You're being fucking rude. What if I, uh, suck your dick? Like in my car? I'm 17, you fucking creep, sign the slip. Suck my dick. <laughs> Seriously, Maddie, the best thing to do after a breakup is to fuck someone new and then move on. Please, Kat, remind me again how many guys you fucked and, um, oh yeah, catfishing, that don't count. <laughs> Can you not be a cunt for like 15 seconds? Eating for dinner. Dad, stop being a pervert. We're literally like all naked. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, this isn't the 80s. You need to catch a dick. You're still doing the grapefruit diet. Yep, I literally want to die. Wait, you've been clean for like two weeks, right? No. Bro! What? Fuck you! Come here! What? You've been. Come here! Oh my god! I'm so proud of you. Do you think people are like 100% straight and like 100% gay? Okay, well, um, maybe you could. Come over Sunday night because my mom's like asking to meet you and stuff. Are you talking to your mama about me? No. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Bye, Rue. <Ruth>. Bye. <laughs> Hi. I miss you. I miss you too. Um, I think she's in love with her. How many pretzels do you want? We don't eat carbs. Two, please. Who's that? Nate Jacobs' dad. That's Nate's dad? Yes, that's Nate's dad. No fucking yes, way! No fucking way. You're full of shit. No way! You're full of shit. I don't think I have an attention span for real life anymore. Shut up, you smart ass. I've never not gone through someone's family. Bitch, you're my soulmate. Honestly, fuck that whole family. For real. Because right now I'm looking at a thousand versions of myself, and not only do I look good, I fucking feel good. Too bitch. No. I fucking invincible! Fucking free! What the fuck? By the way, I'm Jules. I just moved here. I hate everyone else in the world but you. So if they got something to say, they should just say it to my face, right? Or you could just say it to their fucking face. Right? That's what I would do. I feel like this is a turning point. Totally. We should just pick the hottest, most confident, bad bitch version of ourselves and be that for the rest of the school year. Yo. <laughs> Dinner's ready. Okay. Are you coming? Yeah, no. Yeah, for, yeah, for dinner. Just uh, give me a second. Okay. Yeah, I'm not supposed to be here right now because I'm dressed like a hooker and none of you like me. But I just wanted to say congratulations. Maddie, get out of here. Oof. What in God's name is your problem? You I'm Bob Ross. The painter from PBS. I think you're missing my point, Ru. Nothing in high school lasts forever. You should meet her.
which in retrospect seems kind of rapey and weird, but honestly, she was the one in control. Yeah. <laughs> what are you, the Unabomber? What are you, a dominatrix? No. Now let me just be real straight with you. You ever been to rehab, Roy? No, I'm true. Sure. Roy, I'm... try, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, but I don't, I don't have to say it's Daniel. Bitch, that's the craziest idea I've ever heard, right? For sure. Yeah, but I want to be honest with him. Uh... Well, in rehab, there are some real fucked up motherfuckers. We're talking people who are on the hook for armed robbery, attempted murder, real fucked up shit, hardcore motherfuckers. It's true. I went once. It was scary. Sometimes the two people in the universe who aren't meant for each other find each other. You're a beautiful girl. And a smart one. It's time to let go. Your whole family is so fucking weird. If you so much as go past first base with my little sister and try to get her high again, I will call Omar, I will call Marlo, I will call Avon, I will call Brother Mozone, I will call fucking Bodie, and I will call fucking Stringer, and I will have these motherfuckers standing outside of your front lawn. Do you hear me? Or even Weebay. <laughs> you got a new best friend. <laughs> You know what, Rick? Why don't you go fuck yourself? If I can conquer men, then I can conquer femininity. <laughs> Why do you need a guy to make you feel more feminine? Hmm? Jules, what are you doing? Although I joy in me, I have no joy in this contract tonight. What are you talking about? I don't know what that means. Too rash, too unadvised, too sudden, too like the lightning which doth cease to be. Jules, you're drunk, OK? And you sound like an idiot. Can you please get out of the pool? Air, one can say it light and sweet good night. This bud of love by summer's ripening breath may prove a beauteous flower when we next meet. Maybe Ellie was right about Jules. Because this doesn't feel good. Stop, okay? Can you stop? Stop. 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 Jules! Are you pouring coffee in the water filter? Yes, I am. Instead of water? Yes, I am. Well, please, don't do that. And it's late. You shouldn't be drinking caffeine. Mom, please. I got work. Well, there's a sentence I never thought I'd hear. Well, you let me know when this is ready. First of all, ew. Second of all, ew. It's cool. I'm, I'm not triggered or anything. <laughs> Okay, let's take some pictures. Come on. Okay. She'll be charismatic and make friends easily. Oh, you guys look so cute. She'll be kind and sensitive. Maybe too sensitive. You know what your fucking problem is? You can't keep your fucking mouth shut. Yeah, and you can't keep your dick hard. Why don't you kiss me? I kiss you. No, why don't you, like, kiss, kiss me? Um, I mean, do you want me to, like, kiss, kiss you? I want you to want to kiss me so bad that you don't even ask. Apologize right now. In retrospect, that was a little cunty. But Rick does suck, and I was angry for a lot of reasons. Rick, I sincerely apologize for telling you to go fuck yourself. <laughs> What a fucking pussy. <laughs> what about you? Honestly, I don't really give a fuck. fuck give a fuck, nigga, what you say. Short sure, dog, fuck with you, GK. 